Why Our Good Immigrant Narrative is a Divisive Misnomer. The good versus bad immigrant narrative was a key bargaining tool for Brexit and Donald Trump and emboldened the populist press like we have never seen before. The media elite have consequently monopolized on anecdotal evidence in the numbers game to entice, incite and establish its own brand of bad immigrants. By the same token, the good immigrant narrative has flourished, leaving us with a polarization of immigrant worthiness. How ironic that our information age has led to such misinformation. Our beloved Brexit bastion Nigel Farage proclaimed that doctors, engineers, business people and investors are the sort of migrants we want. He proudly declared that his great-great-grandfather was someone who integrated into British society and worked his fingers to the bone. The DACA program introduced by Obama during his premiership put certain immigrants on the path to legitimization at the expense of stigmatizing others. Its mantra maintained that only those who earned it deserved a place, while those who didn't were to be deported. DACA beneficiaries were depicted as different and exceptionally deserving, not like the rest. They remain a more falsely young, forever the same high-achieving kid. Donald Trump's succeeding rhetoric also stresses the importance of meritocracy in distinguishing a good immigrant from a bad one. However supportive of immigration these examples may be, their overarching theme carries a subjective meritocracy measured exclusively by economic contribution potential. 36% of our NHS doctors are foreign-born. In 2016, foreign direct investment in the UK was valued at 196 billion. Of course these are fantastic statistics, and while the good immigrant narrative may, with examples such as this, encourage migration which economically benefits the UK, they shouldn't be the model criteria of a good immigrant. We don't expect the average Brit to be a doctor, or to have invested millions of pounds, so why is the expectation so high to qualify as a good immigrant? Not everyone will have the educational or financial opportunity to make the cut. Once Bill Clinton said, while talent is equally distributed around the world, opportunity is not. Yet the good immigrant narrative reduces migrants to their monetary value and discriminates against their poverty by denying them the opportunity to become better versions of themselves. Inevitably, the culturally nonconformist and financially underprivileged immigrants are labeled as burdens, freeloaders, rapists, gangsters, and benefit scroungers, the bad immigrants. Such connotations are now normalized and fashionable to post-truth consensus. The rebuff of real facts and figures has warped our sense of logic to the extent that whatever we hear, see or read, we believe. Emotive repetition has a spellbinding effect and the triumph of populism has led a very sluggish way of thinking. This encourages institutional racism in a way which rationalizes and camouflages the gravity of its socio-political repercussions. From Nigel Farage's infamous Breaking Point poster pre-Brexit, to the Daily Mail's inflammatory circular on British Muslims, the relentless fear-mongering monotone is a viral social media algorithm and millions fall for it like sheep. As humans, our tribal instincts make for the harshest judges of dissimilarity and scapegoating is our coping mechanism. These insecurities and fears have been capitalized by the tabloid media, goading us to think in binaries. The good immigrant narrative emerges as a sifting tool carrying with it sentiments of generalization, superiority and inverted snobbery. For instance, as second and third generation immigrants, many of us disaffiliate from the defining components of our forefathers' struggles. We feel agitated to be associated with immigrants and otherize them. They fall short of being good immigrants, which of course we are. We are good because we are not burdens on the state, we are economic contributors and beacons of cultural integration and assimilation. The societal pitting of these so-called good immigrants against their outcast counterparts means their good immigrant identity is distinctly elevated while the dehumanization of the bad immigrant is validated. In an effort to counter the narrative that British Muslims find Christmas offensive, the charity Penny Up U.S. Christmas ad campaign highlighted their charitable contributions during the festive period. While its intentions may have been good, it raises more questions than answers. Who assumes 